low-income minority communities are absolutely devastated by type 2 diabetes. Their uncles have amputations. Their grandma is blind. And in young people, we're sitting on a time bomb. All right, this is everything. It's got your medication list, it has your past medical problems, and it has your current problems. Much of the last 20 years of my career has been focused on understanding the impact of limited literacy skills on people's health. Whether it was an automated telephone system or whether it was a visual medication schedule, we created interventions to try to improve health outcomes. More recently, I've transitioned that work to focus also on public health literacy, which is how we want to structure our communities such that they lead to higher probabilities of health and well-being. And I mostly focus on diabetes because we were increasingly seeing this as the common problem we were facing. Now in California, almost one in four teenagers have type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. There is no reason a child should get a disease that's called adult onset diabetes, unless there's something very sick in their environment. When you don't have safe places to play, when you don't have grocery stores that have healthy food in them, when soda is cheaper than water, it's not a surprise that there would be a type 2 diabetes epidemic. We're standing on the corner between healthy and heart attack. Not sure which way to cross. I was fortunate to have paired up with Youth Speaks, whose mission is to help young people find their voices through poetry. We created the Bigger Picture campaign. Cheese, death sentence, snort lines of white donut powder, addicted to what the ranch dip did. The Bigger Picture is really a campaign designed to get young people to speak to the environmental and social factors that have driven the rise of type 2 diabetes. When James wakes up in the morning, the most difficult question he has involving food is how much is there in the fridge? They've created 22 video poems about diabetes prevention that we have performed at almost 25 high schools to nearly 5,000 public high school students. We want you to take action. We want you to take action. We believe Whose grandma has diabetes? Anybody's brother or sister has diabetes? Our school engagements create a space for those young people to share their stories and for them to see that they're not alone in the struggles that their family or that their community members may be facing. Ultimately, we're trying to change policy. We're trying to change what schools serve kids. We're trying to change the availability of fresh food in neighborhoods. We're trying to change governmental policy and corporate practices so that the environments kids grow up in are healthy. Through these works of art, they are changing the conversation about diabetes, away from the shame and blame to we need to make changes in our social and environmental conditions, or else this thing's never gonna end. So sweet. You can you ain't gonna share the Takis, bro? Stingy. It's cool. I got my own.